It's been a while since I've shot a Gotta Have It TV episode, but I'm out in the field doing some camping. And over the last several months, I've purchased a lot of equipment and wanted to do a walkthrough of the gear I've purchased, some of the modifications I'm making on it, and then just do a general walkthrough of our current campsite and uh, see if there's any interest in me doing reviews of any of the products that we'll show here. By the way, I'm shooting this on my phone instead of my professional gear. So one of the big purchases of the year is this off-grid trailer, Expedition 2.0, and done a lot of modifications to it. I've gotten this 23-0 dirty bag on the front of a spare tire. Lots of room for wet gear and stuff that I don't want to have to clean up. I can just leave it right in there. I find that really useful. Lots of storage capacity in this. And by the way, I'm going to do a full review of the trailer later. I'll just do a quick walkthrough and show you some of the features of it, such as a 360 degree articulating hitch. So we can go full off-roading up the hills and mountains and the trailer can articulate one direction while the car's articulating the other. Super beefy tires. We got two of these bug zappers that we love. They take care of a lot of the flying insects and such. Also bought this big fridge. I think it's a 175 liter dry box that we've mounted up here. I've put six of these steel wire reinforced tie down straps locking to keep it in place. Gives us the ability to secure it in place, but then open it and get access to it. Keep it locked. I've put some of this uh, rock chip covering here this layer of film to prevent rock chips on the front of it and other places continuing to add to that these are some little uh, outdoor screen curtains and i just uh, put some string across here so if we want mosquito proof zone we can just easily slide those in and out. But uh, here is the Expedition 2.0. A lot to like about this. I spent a couple of years doing research on off-grid trailers. There's a lot of them in the market, made in Australia to Canada to South Africa and such. And after doing extensive research, I purchased this one and I absolutely love it. It's got big off-roading tires, massive clearance underneath, nice suspension system, a sports suspension system. Done a lot of upgrades in the purchase. We had this uh, designed and uh, made in Canada, but uh, lots to like about it. It's small enough that it fits in our garage we just have to take these awnings off the top and it fits nicely in our garage. A lot of fold out capabilities here. And we did upgrades in many areas. This is a Truma refrigerator freezer made in Germany. If you want the best portable refrigerator in the world, this would be the one. A lot to like about it. It's got a freezer section fridge, super deep, 69 liters. It's got uh, controls here, plus we can control it with our smartphones while we're driving. If we're on a long trip and we're getting close, we can turn down the temperatures to make sure it's just right. And it uh, stores away there quite nicely. We like the design of this, lots of lights and in the interior check out how thick these doors are it's all got two inches of insulation all the way around privacy blinds there these windows that can open completely or with a screen or stay closed on the interior we've got a queen size bed we did some upgrades 
we upgraded the three inch latex mattress to include six inches of Talalay organic latex plus a wedge to get our head up a little bit. It's got a nice max fan up here that runs in the rain and we turn it off and it just lowers automatically many degrees of velocity where you can crank it up a lot with this remote. It moves a lot of air and in most climates that fan with these open windows is all you need to keep it cool. Mounted some remotes over there and I mounted a molly panel there, a heavy duty steel tactical molly panel and loaded it full of stuff that we can use. Really nice first aid kit plus many others. Opted for a television. We don't use it very often. We've got uh, heat and cooling on demand. 2000 watt inverter with lots of power options. There's the Zero Breeze Mark II uh, AC that I took out of my Forerunner and there's a cutout for it specifically here. We put another Molly panel over on this side. Massive amount of storage. Our feet go up in there. It's more spacious than it looks. You can sit in here and have plenty of head space. We found this to be really comfy, cozy, a lot of nice amenities. We have access to controlling our power there. We have a lot of USB power options, plus 110 there, back there, several other places, smoke detector, carbon monoxide and such. It's got great insulation. It's really quiet, very comfortable. The nice thing is we can be driving, pull into our campsite late, open the doors, get in, lock it up and be ready to go to bed. We've gotten a lot of aftermarket things. These 23-0, we use this one for all of our serving needs and this for the kitchen cooking. The uh, ventilation for the AC wasn't up to par for my taste, so I custom built this. I made this piece here out of some racing, uh, street car racing uh, part here, three inch to four inch reducer, silicon high temperature. Got this blower motor in here so that it will move 205 cubic feet per minute of air and exhaust that air out of there so we circulate the air much better. A lot of other things that we've added on. This Dometic I really like. Very flexible. We put all of our drinking water in there. We fill it full of our five stage reverse osmosis water purification system at home. Fill it up. It meets our needs nicely. We've got this fold out kitchen with a dual burner, a sink, hot and cold water on demand. Bluetooth sound system, speakers, towel, spice rack, light, and then drainage options. That thing folds up and gets right out of the way. This is a really nice step we found that gives my wife the right height to be able to do cooking. Here's a fold up camping table that we really like that just folds away into a really small bag, sturdy. The legs can extend independently, so if you're not on even ground. I like this road trip rocking chair here. Works really well. That's my favorite. Highly recommend. And got a favorite DeWalt fan. I recommended this last year in part of 2022 and I continue to use it extensively along with the flashlight. I'm able to charge those batteries very quickly, less than an hour, fully recharged. If uh, 
or in a situation where we don't have time for a shower, these shower pouches are absolutely amazing. I'm pretty finicky about what I uh, use for cleaning and these actually feel like you're coming fresh out of a shower. Hard to believe, but they actually work. Very effective, feels cool. They use all uh, natural ingredients, essential oils and such. Highly recommend those. We've got another brand that we also use some, but that's our favorite. Mentioned this little lantern last year. We've got some of these that hook onto our pole. Those come in handy for all kinds of things. We can put our laundry on these. We also have one that we put our dishes. Once we wash the dishes in the sink, we hang them up into one of these vented laundry bags and it just drip dries and dries very quickly. So we have those hanging there. Collapsible broom, more chairs. We bring along the Yeti on certain situations. We're in, in Memorial Day weekend with three day weekend. So we brought some extra stuff. I rigged up this little tote unit here. So our sink, the gray water drains out of there into this. And then we can take this to our dump station and haul it when the 21 gallons are full. I have this cargo rack on the back. Um, unfortunately, when the trailer designed their lights, they're right next to the hitch and so it was blocking those so I had to wire up my own brake light and signal system so did that that works well there's a 50 degree departure angle so when you're taking this out mountain climbing you can go up 50 degree inclines without hitting the back here We've got stabilizing braces there that go up and down real quickly with a drill lots of clearance sport suspension. I installed some more of this rock protected material here and around on the front. I got a spare 10 gallon propane tank here and got it mounted there yesterday. Lots of nice storage in the back here. Keep all kinds of things here. Most of them are labeled, still continuing the process of getting those labeled, but uh, really love the storage. This folds down when we don't need in there. These are 30 cal ammo cans and these are 50 because they're plastic. They can move around. These shells all can move and in an analog setting all the way up and down. So lots of variability there. This is our toilet of choice here at Thetford. One of the best on the market. Got a shower stall built in to the trailer that collapses up into a little bar over there. Then when we get in sight, we uh, just unstrap it and it all falls down in place works really well gives us a lot of capabilities there's a shower head over there and then I just recently purchased this drainage system here so we can stand in this three inches of clearance and then it drains and we can drain it into our gray water tank here or if the facility we're staying at allows the runoff of gray water we can run it out that way got three of these indoor outdoor waterproof mats that we really like. Shower board there. And so this just folds up right there nicely. Another 10 gallon propane tank here. This is connected into our heating system for winter. Our hot water system there. Got on and off switch for the pump light convenient access here to water temperatures. We can adjust the water pressure and the temperature as needed. And so that works well. It provides this hot water to the shower here, to the sink over there. 
We've got a 31 gallon fresh water tank here in the back that goes right here. And on the inside, you can actually see a meter that shows how much we have left. It's a really nice design. We actually parked right up against the water tap and the electrical box. We bring along this little compact microwave most of our trips. Another one of these bug zappers that come in really handy. Most of the places we're going in the summertime where there's lots of mosquitoes and flying bugs. We have several of these 230 organizers that we can just slide into a holder up there. Nice capabilities. These fenders here and these act as ladders with 400 pound capacity so we can walk right up and get up onto the roof. The roof has a thousand pound storage capacity so we can put a tent up there if we want. Bikes, canoes, kayaks. I'm probably going to be putting a whole solar panel array up there that will output at least 400 watts next year as I upgrade the batteries. A lot to like about this design. It's designed for people who want to be mostly outdoors, but as you can see, we opted for these 23-0 awnings. And so those fold out and give us some shade and these have a lot of insulating capabilities. So you notice a huge amount of difference between being out in the sun and being up underneath this. And so we chose to have two of these 260 degree awnings here and then four sets of walls so we can entirely encase this whole thing. So then it gives us basically three tiers of enjoying the outdoors. We have the interior there for sleeping in where we can control the temperature and have electronics and such. And so that works really well, but obviously we don't want to stay in there most of the time. And so then we have this second tier here where we can roll these um, walls up to provide vent here for nice breezes in cold or inclement weather. We can roll those down and just have solid walls here. So it provides nice capability. And then the third level being if we want to get outside completely, then we can enjoy any of those levels. We have uh, where the walls are stored in here, extra extension cords. This trailer can go fully off grid, but this year, first year that we have it, we're plugging into RV sites mostly, 200 amp hour batteries. I'm going to be upgrading those to lithium iron phosphate next year. This 200 watt inverter we really like. But overall, there's a lot to like about this trailer. I'll be doing more reviews. I'm doing a lot of other modifications to it. I'm going to be doing a wrap on it, final wrap. But the ability for us to enjoy the outdoors completely here or having a screened in area where we can stay free of mosquitoes and then a full interior there where we can completely control the climate works really well we are three hours northeast of houston enjoying memorial day weekend really nice weekend so if you see something you're interested in want more details leave those questions in the comments section below i'll be glad to answer those if you see something you'd like me to do a more in-depth review of let me know that as well there are many other products that i haven't shown you here things that are stored away plus i'm going to be doing additional upgrades to this and other areas so over the next couple of years, I plan on doing some pretty massive upgrades so that we can stay completely off grid for a couple of weeks at a time. The roof rack is large enough that we can have a lot of solar panel capability. And then with that, we can stay off grid for a long period of time. These walls are amazing from 23-0. You look at this and think, man, that must take forever. But actually those unfold, you can un fold these overhead awnings in 30 seconds you pretty much just unzip it take three velcro straps off grab hold of one end and it just all the way unfolds all the way to 270 degrees 
And then these walls surprisingly zip on very easily. One person by themselves can zip all of these walls on in about uh, 10 to 15 minutes. And then it's also surprising how easy it is to roll these up, fit them in the bag and store them away. So we've been really thrilled with the performance of the trailer. A lot to like about this system. It's made in Canada. And to me, it has the best combination of price, reasonably affordable. You can get these starting at around 35,000 US and then they have financing from one year to 20 years. And so it's uh, within reach of a lot of people. And then you can do upgrades as you wish, add on an additional spare tire, add on an air conditioner, the heater. I've done a lot of upgrades. The 2000 watt inverter isn't standard. I think a 1000 watt is standard, but there's enough flexibility in how you upgrade things either when you order the trailer or aftermarket that just no end in sight. I've done a wide variety of upgrades. These actually are Harley Davidson motorcycle tie down anchors. So I bought those and put them on here and got some neoprene marine washers, stainless steel on one side, neoprene on the other for good waterproofing. So I've just continued to upgrade pieces here and there. And the nice thing about the trailer is you can just bolt on whatever you want. I mean, it's just pretty much unlimited what you can do with this thing. Lots of dry boxes and storage containers from Pelican to Rome, big fridge, 23-0, many others out on the market you can add. I like this one because it fits so nicely up there. The dimensions were almost perfect. Well, hope you've enjoyed the video. I have more to come, but I've been in such a mode of purchasing things and doing mods on them that I've been rather busy. I'd like to know you guys' interest in me doing these lower quality video shot on my iPhone where I can shoot them in an hour, get them edited quickly and uploaded versus me shooting them on my professional gear and it taking a week to do the production and post-production on, so it's a lot slower. If I shoot more on the iPhone, I can get videos out more often. So let me know, vote with your thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. Let me know if you want any other information. I'm also considering doing more reviews and videos on overlanding outdoor adventures versus I have pretty broad interest as you have seen in types of products that I'm interested in. So I really want to know from you which direction I should go. Do you like this sort of thing? Would you like for me to shoot some how-to videos on how to, how I installed these, how I built this system here for exhausting the air onto the trailer. There's many kind of mods I do where I, I love taking something, looking for ways of improving it, doing research, finding other products that I can use for a specific purpose. So if you have an interest in more of those kind of how-tos, I'd love to hear that too. Hey, thanks a bunch for watching. Until next time.